Hey there, it's Colton with the 3DS Max Learning Channel. Have you ever struggled with editing USD and Max objects in the same scene? Today I'm going to show you how the new Promote to Max Object feature from 3DS Max 2026.1 solves that problem. In 3DS Max 2026.1, we added the Promote to Max feature as part of USD for Max 0.11. This new feature lets you work with USD objects using native 3DS Max tools, like the Push Modifier, Array Modifier, and even collision simulators like Particle Flow, Tie Flow, the list goes on. Most importantly, promote the 3DS Max object in USD for Max 0.12, where we've added the Round Trip feature, is a game changer for 3D artists. Previously, it was impossible to edit USD and Max objects in the same scene without manually importing them. Now you can! Plus, any changes you make to a USD object can update in 3ds Max, creating a live connection and a very efficient workflow. Let's walk through the Promote to Max process together. Okay, let's start by opening the USD Explorer and Layer Editor. The Explorer lets you visualize your USD data, similar to the Scene Explorer but for USD, where you can see the hierarchy of objects in your scene. We'll go to Tools, USD, USD Explorer. Next, we'll open the USD Layer Editor. We won't use this extensively in this demo, but we will open a USD stage from it. And quick note, there are many ways to do this. This is just one example. You can access the Layer Editor through the same path as the USD Explorer. Tools, USD, USD Layer Editor. We'll dock both windows in the Scene Explorer so they're easy to access throughout the video. With USD already installed and 3ds Max open, let's go to Create in the USD Layer Editor, USD Stage, select your file, and open. Perfect! Here's the Spaceship USD Stage that we're going to work with. Alright, so to promote a 3ds Max object, right-click the root of the USD hierarchy in the USD Explorer. Heads up, in a large scene, like a full shot, you'll want to pick the objects more carefully, since the promotion brings in that object along with all child objects. You'll see all of your USD options, such as variant sets, but for now we're only really interested in the Promote to Max Object feature at the top. Let's select it. Real quick, I should add, materials cannot be promoted as part of this process. Okay, so what happened? Your object now has a partner object in the Scene Explorer, showing the connection between USD and 3ds Max. So as you may have noticed, in the command panel on the right side of 3ds Max, there is a new USD Geometry Object interface. Before we make any changes to our promoted object, let's briefly discuss what each setting does. The first option, Live Geometry Updates, showcases the true power of Promote to Max. When on, updates that happen in USD will be sent to the Max object, keeping the live connection active. It's off by default because there can be a performance cost when promoting complex, animated content. If you want to occasionally use it instead of keeping it on all the time, just click the refresh button beside Live Geometry Updates. Let's turn it on though to see the live updates. The next option, Source Prim, shows the path of the object you're promoting from. So we did the root, and there's the root. Its sub-option, Show, lets you view the USD object alongside the promoted Max object in your viewport. With it on, and moving the geometry to the side, you can see both spaceships in the scene now. Let's keep it off to keep our scene clean. Includes shows what's included in your promotion to Max. For example, with invisible prims, if you hide some objects in the USD hierarchy, like multiple spaceships, a base, and even the planet they're on, and turn on invisible prims, you can see these objects show up in the viewport. Okay, on to display purposes. If you're unfamiliar with display purposes, they let you choose what is shown in the viewport or during a render. With current viewport display, this will match what is currently set as the display purpose. By default, it's proxy, so we'll promote objects that have been assigned the proxy purpose. The proxy setting is usually for low detail. This option is ideal for any viewport edits and layout. Render is for high quality, high resolution geometry, which is obviously perfect for rendering, but not for navigating a viewport. And lastly, guide is great for displaying joints and other components. 
Let's keep current viewport display on. All right, now for the fun part. You can select your object in the Scene Explorer and make any edits you want, as if it's a regular 3ds Max object. For example, let's apply a bend modifier to this spaceship. Change the bend axis to Y to stylize it. Let's also try the push modifier. Increase the amount ever so slightly to give the spaceship a more wobbly, stylized feeling. I'm going to stop here, but I don't want you to. Continue to experiment with other modifiers to see the possibilities. And remember how I mentioned live geometry updates earlier? Let's see them in action. First, ensure the option is selected. If you go into the root object in the USD Explorer, right click and select variant sets, you can see the same modifiers applied as we switch USD variants right away, live. See that? That is the true power of promote to max object. All right, so after making changes and you're feeling good about them, you might want to send the object data back to USD. For best practice, let's retitle our max object as spaceship. That way, when we duplicate the data back, we don't have three objects called root in the USD Explorer. Okay, let's right click your object in the viewport and select duplicate as USD data. You can check out the global options, which controls how the data is transferred. You'll see the options are actually quite similar to the exporter, but with some key differences. The material section does not allow for a separate file. So you basically can't separate materials into their own file. The top option, inherit stage object transform and override existing prims are completely new. Inherit stage object transform ensures your object stays where you left it in the scene. Override existing prims lets you overwrite your objects with the same name and path. With these objects selected, to ensure you know where to find your object and that you're comfortable with an overwrite, click Apply. Keep in mind, clicking Apply does not complete the Max to USD process. You have to select the stage from the Duplicate as USD data menu we opened earlier. Let's do it again. We'll right click, go down to Duplicate as USD data, and select the stage because that's what's in our Scene Explorer as the Max object. Based on the new USD object created in the USD Explorer, appropriately titled Spaceship, you can see that the object has been successfully duplicated to USD and has maintained the edits you made. Now that I sent my Spaceship edits back into the stage, what if I want to add another object into it, but this time at a specific place in the hierarchy? Let's pretend we're going to add another Spaceship object. Select your object in the viewport. In the USD Explorer, right-click the object you want your data duplicated under. Go down to Add New Prim from 3ds Max Selection. This will let you decide where in the hierarchy you want your duplicated data to end up. So for example, let's put the object under Geo. If we expand the object and scroll down, you can see that the spaceship is organized in the hierarchy now. Our data has now officially gone on a round trip from USD to Max, Max to USD. All right, so in this video, we explored new mixed data workflows using the Promote to 3ds Max object feature to pass data from USD to Max and duplicate to USD data to send it back, all part of USD for Max 0.12. Let's do a quick recap. So first, we set up our environment with the USD Explorer and Layer Editor and opened a sample USD stage. We promoted a USD object to a 3ds Max object creating a live connection. We discussed various settings in the USD geometry object interface. We applied modifiers like bend and push to our promoted object, showcasing the flexibility and power of this feature. And finally, we showed how to send modified object data back to USD. The Promote to 3ds Max object feature lets you easily pass USD geometry over to 3ds Max so you can work with all the Max tools and still have changes from USD sent over instantly. It provides better control over your projects with flexible settings, making it easy to customize and transfer your work. And the possibilities really begin there. You can use this workflow with Mac simulations and even VFX, enhancing your process, saving time, and opening up more creative opportunities for your 3D projects. If you have any questions, check out the USD documentation for 3ds Max. Take care.